Welcome back to Home Video, this is James. So today we're going to be having a look at the directorial debut from Peter Jackson, Bad Taste. It was produced, directed, written by Peter Jackson. The story is about uh, a group of mates that come across these extraterrestrials that are trying to harvest humans for food. Uh, that's the plot of the film. But you know, like the title says, it's over the top, be prepared to laugh your guts up. A gutsy, gory, hilarious horror flick set to become the cult success of our time. I've never seen a movie that's so disgusting. And it was banned in multiple countries. Peter Jackson was making 8mm short films uh, for a while. But it wasn't until he saw The Evil Dead come out, directed by Sam Raimi, uh, which was shot on 16mm, uh, that he realised that he needed to up his game in order to, if he wanted to sell the film to an international market, or even just sell the film uh, in his own country uh, at all. Uh, 8mm film is kind of for amateurs um, and you know just people starting out. So he eventually got the money together to invest in a 16mm camera and him and his mates went about shooting Bad Taste. Uh, they shot on weekends over the course of a few years. You know and it was really just like a love project at the time but the the film started to snowball and you know there really wasn't really much of a script. They would just shoot you know scene after scene and you know, within the week, uh, Peter Jackson would come up with new ideas, and they they go and shoot another scene. The film just tied itself together and ended up becoming what what it is today. During the shooting over the course of a few years, a lot of the actors dropped out. They got tired of it uh, because it, it just kept going and going and going, uh, which is understandable. Uh, and when there's no deadline in place, yeah, I, I can understand them dropping out. So it was it was a hard slog for Peter Jackson to try and get this film finished. When three quarters of the film was shot, he tried to show the film to uh, some film commissions to try and raise money to, uh, to to shoot the rest of the film and get the film finally finished. There's a lot of gore in the film, but it's not necessarily realistic looking, which I think that's the charm of it. You're supposed to take this film as a dark comedy. Uh, you're not supposed to be traumatised by the film. It's more of like a shocker, a splatterfest. <laughs> A lot of the, the gore effects you can tell are, are fake, and a lot of them are cheap, but you know, the ambition involved with you know, the way Peter Jackson went about making the film and his mates, uh, it's really quite something. I mean, there's a scene, this is Peter Jackson playing both roles, so that's Peter Jackson, and then the guy hanging over the cliff is Peter Jackson. Um, <laughs> so it's, yeah, he, it was really guerrilla filmmaking, uh, you know, when he, he didn't have enough actors, he'd just double himself up. He's tied a rope to a tree stump and he's literally hanging off the edge of a cliff. You know, it's daredevil filmmaking. Uh, who in their right mind would do that? I mean, um, health and safety, I mean, could easily just <laughs> fall to his death there, but this was the kind of filmmaking he was doing. It was just guns blazing, daredevil filmmaking, rogue filmmaking. <laughs> tell that it's done by amateurs, uh, just the, the quality of the film itself, but there is a, a definite charm in the film. So he eventually got a little bit of extra money to finish the film off, and a lot of the, the original actors that had pulled out, uh, they came back to finish the film, because uh, they knew it was actually going to be finished. They did a whole bunch of crazy gore effects towards the end. They took it to the Cannes Film Festival, and it was mixed reviews. Uh, some people loved it, some people hated it. Banned in a lot of countries. Uh, but over time, it's become quite a cult classic. Uh, you know, the front cover itself. you just got a guy giving you the finger. I mean, <laughs> it's, it tells you all that you need to know about the film. I, I've never seen a, a, a poster like this before. It's, it's yeah, straight at your face. <laughs> There's a filthy scene here where Peter Jackson's throwing up into a bowl. And then all the aliens drink, drink the vomit. It's quite filthy. Uh, the the vomit was made from food, green food dye, yogurt, and mixed vegetables. Yeah, Lord Crumb, the actor playing the head of the alien invader, the old guy. Uh, he actually died before filming was complete, um, so he never actually got to see the end end film. But I'm sure he knew it was going to turn into something special. 
and and rightfully so really i mean i i, I enjoy this film it's always a good watch you, you know every time you have a laugh uh it just it's just craziness really you know going from these early films like bad taste and brain dead uh and then you're seeing lord of the rings you know it's it's really i mean in the space of 10 years really 10 15 years it's quite a leap in terms of professionalism uh and I really admire Peter Jackson for that, just being able to to pull off this film with uh, I think the budget was twenty five thousand, and then to obviously go and pull off the three Lord of the Rings trilogies or the, the six. Uh, it's there another feat in itself. So he's yeah quite a remarkable t film director. Guys, if you haven't subscribed to our channel, please subscribe. Uh, leave a comment. Let us know if you like Bad Taste. If you if you didn't like it, I'd be keen to know. Uh, but you know. Like I said, I recommend it. Uh, just check it out for the, the gore, the effects, the dark comedy, you know, the amateur daredevil filmmaking style. It's worth checking out for that alone. I'd give it four out of five stars. You know, chuck it on late at night, Friday, Saturday night. Turn the lights off around midnight, put it on. Might just take you back to the 80s. Alright guys, this is James signing off from the Home Video Channel. See you next time.